Everybody, it's Christmas Prepared Mind 101, and Christmas is getting closer, so I'm doing my, my civic duty, uh, giving all the wives and girlfriends out there last minute gift ideas for those guys that you know do so much for you all the time. They pick up their stuff, they vacuum, they clean the dishes, you know, typical guy stuff, right? I have a knife in my hand that I got for review. I asked for it to review because I thought it was interesting. I didn't think I was going to be that into it, but I thought it was interesting. Something different. However, this is one of those ones where I get really excited about something because once I get it in my hand, I'm like, oh my God, I love this thing. I want more. I want extras just in case I ever lose it. It's like, it's so freaking awesome. I don't know. Everybody will like it. Um, but I think you would if you got it in your hand. It's a small knife. This is the Kershaw Launch 4. And it is an auto. What makes this special is it's an auto that's legal in most places. Except New York. Because apparently New York is worse than California. I did not know this. The blade is under 2 inches, so... It is definitely more legal because I mean, you know, who, this can't hurt you. I could just stab myself. Well, it's it's only less than two inches, right? Who's gonna get hurt with that? This is a this is a nasty little pokey thing, but it's just the right size for utility for for freaking everything. Doesn't matter that it's an auto, just. You gotta open boxes, you gotta open mail, you gotta cut cord. I saw this on Gideon's Tactical channel first. And I was like, who wants an auto that small? Me. That's who. So if you want to know more about this knife, don't go away. All right, let's get a, a close-up look at this knife. Again, this is a small knife. It's gonna fit in a lot of places. This is a US made Kershaw. Fit and finish on it is excellent. The action on it is very snappy. It's got a CPM 154 DLC coated blade. Spear point came very sharp. Uh, of course, I've been using it and I tweaked it a little bit, so it's even sharper now. This works very well on the ceramic rod. So let's go ahead and look at the specs. Closed length is 3.2 inches. The blade length is 1.9 inches. Open length is 5.1 inches and the weight is 1.8 ounces. Made in the USA, single position pocket clip, meaning uh, you can't reverse it, can't flip it around to the other side. So lefties, sorry, uh, tie your hand behind your back and just use your right hand for a month. Uh, then maybe, maybe you can be cured. I'm just saying so so a little note here I'm looking at the uh, the DLT website even though DLT is currently out of stock they are getting them back in so if you see this video later definitely check uh, so and I got this uh, this came directly from Kershaw you know I should say that as well the blade is high performance CPM 154 steel. This powdered metallurgy steel has more uniform distribution of carbides. So it takes and holds an excellent edge and provides good corrosion resistance, wear resistance, and toughness. That's why we use, uh, use that on uh, the JX4 and the JX6. You know, the blade is DLC coated for additional measure of 
display protection, and non-reflective good looks. That does not, those words don't belong in the same sentence. <laughs> non-reflective and good looks. Look, I don't, I don't mind the looks of this, but uh, to me, shiny blades always look better. So to lighten the Kershaw Launch 4's weight, we made the handle an integrated back spacer of durable aluminum anodized in black. No shipping to New York. Because God knows what would happen if New Yorkers got their hands on this. I mean, there would be blood in the streets. It would be apocalyptic. I mean, look at that. Look how, look, look how scary that is. Yeah, I know. I know. Freaking world's stupid sometimes. So the price on this, this is where I think some people might have the initial impression that... Uh, they, they won't know if it's worth it, but it's a $69 knife. Now, if you're just basing it on how long the blade is, then yeah, I see where people would have issues. But the fit and finish on this is excellent. It's an auto. It's an auto that is legal in more places. It's made in the USA. And it's just freaking cool. It's, I mean, I, oh, I've had, I have had so much fun playing with this knife. I love this knife. I will get an extra one. It's one of those. You know, when I have two of something, that means I really friggin' like it. So let's uh, try this thing out cutting, even though it's not a factory edge anymore. Kind of give you an idea. Well, we'll just, we'll cut a few things here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sad to say, I think I might have extinguished my supply of completely random knife sheaths. You know, I gotta, I gotta check something, but I might be done, done with those, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and just. It's such a nice size for doing like little utility cuts. That's a couple pieces of paper there. So let's see what else we got here. This is a extra piece of. A divider from a VanQuest pack that I don't need. So we've got some closed cell foam, some ripstop nylon. It's just if you ever wanted to see the, the foam in there. Ah, oh, it's it's so cute and tiny and fun and slicey. Let's see what else we got here. Cardboard. We always got to test cardboard, of course. All those Amazon boxes that we get. Cardboard. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is great slicing in this position. This thing is awesome. It's awesome. Don't act like it ain't. It's too much for a knife. Shut up. It's awesome. Seriously. Save your money. Give up smoking. Uh, you can get one of these in a couple weeks. Oh my God. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's so much fun. All right. Let's try some foam. It's a little bit uh, thicker. So I think it might not be a problem. <laughs> so yeah, this knife is really amazing. Opinions are going to vary on something like this, something of this size. <sighs> hmm. So let's talk about this thing some more. So to keep it short and sweet, this is a really cool little knife that I wasn't sure. Well, I knew I would like it, but I didn't think I would just like it that much. It really comes down to, do you like it? People still, to this day, think that every YouTube review out there is me telling you, hey, you need to go buy this. And then everyone's got to like, 
no I don't and here's why it's if you like it if if this is something that you're looking for if this is something that you want I think it's pretty cool I didn't expect to like it uh, I've never really been that into autos because usually it seems like uh, assisted openers are just as fast if not faster because the force of you actually pushing the lever is giving it a little bit more inertia and it's not totally dependent on the spring this one's got this one's great and it's because the blade is not that heavy the bigger you go on the blade the more like you know the launch 7 I think I have uh, it's a little bit slower than this one it's a bigger blade but if it was an assisted opener like the Kershaw Link which is going to be coming up yeah it, it seems a little bit snappier but this one I've seen a couple comments of people that actually have this already and everyone that actually owns it seems to really like it so if you own it uh, go ahead and throw a comment in the comment section below uh, if you got a your own little mini review I mean I can only pin one but I'll pin somebody uh, so you can get another take on it now Amazon doesn't carry these DLT is currently at the time of me posting this out of stock but they got more coming in so I will check, find a couple links, and put them in the description box below in case uh, you are interested in this. So that's all I got for right now. Probably going to be throwing up some more extra videos this week coming up to Christmas because might have a little bit of a break next week. And I got a bunch of other stuff to do here that's not going to be that hard, including a few things that would be good for Christmas. So Christmas Prepare My 101, thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Links, links. Links, links, links are down there. Uh, Amazon store, down there. Everything you need is in the description box. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.